Hey, me and Matt here. So, it's NXT TakeOver in your house. The first in your house since, I believe, oh, 20 years ago, I think. So, it's going to be an interesting show. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to be, well, the winner. How many matches there are. And it's not very long, actually. But there are certain matches I am looking forward to, so I mean it's gonna be fun nonetheless. You have Mia Yim versus Shotzi Black or yeah, Mia Yim, Shotzi Blackheart, Tegan Knox versus Candice Lorray, Dakota Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez. And well that's an interesting uh, match. But it's going to be pretty cool to watch. I mean, I really do like Shotzi Blackheart, Mia Yim, obviously, the veteran. And, of course, Tegan Knox, who definitely has it out for Dakota Kai. You know, Candice LeRae as a heel right now is pretty cool. I gotta say that. And, of course, Raquel Rauch being Raquel Gonzalez being with Dakota Kai. So, and then we have the North American title. We got Keith Lee versus Johnny Gargano. And, yeah, Johnny Gargano has already been the North American champion. Now, because of his new role, I don't know how this is going to be, honestly. I think it's going to be interesting if he does win. But I'm going to say Keith Lee will retain the title. So now it goes on to the last chance backlot brawl. Ooh. Yeah, this is for the NXT Championship. That's going to be cool. If Dream loses, he can no longer challenge for the championship. So there's a rumor that Adam Cole is going to go to AEW. Because his girlfriend, Dr. Britt Baker, or, you know, whatever, is there and she made an appearance in the audience at an NXT event. So, you know, it's probably just a rumor. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens if Undisputed Era breaks up, but nonetheless, I think it's Velveteen Dream's time to win. That would be pretty cool. And it's not because of what's going on right now in the world. But definitely his time to win. Everyone seems to enjoy the Velveteen Dream. So, yeah. You got Finn Balor versus Damian Priest. And I got two of the awesome wrestlers that of today. Uh, you know, New Japan's Prince Devitt. And the Ring of Honor's. Punishment Martinez, aka Damian Priest. This match is going to be good. I can't wait to see how it's going to go. I think that if Finn Balor wins, it'll be really interesting because I know that Punishment Martinez is taller and stronger. And when he was in Ring of Honor, he was definitely that guy who kicked a lot of ass and won a lot of matches, so I'm gonna say that Damon Priest is gonna win, punish my win tennis or whatever. So yeah, there's that. The singles or the women's championship match, Rhea Ripley versus Champion Flair versus Io Shirai. Now, I liked Rhea Ripley as the NXT Women's Champion. I think it would be interesting if she became a two-time champion, but nonetheless, I think that it's going to be an interesting match. I know that I don't like Charlotte Flair. If she wins, that would be a surprise. Yuto Shirai, I would say that she might win too. I mean, who really knows, but it's going to be a fucking interesting match. And then now, this match, I'm definitely looking forward to. I just, I don't know, I just, <clears throat> you, you talk about 
Tommaso Ciampa, Ring of Honor, and elsewhere. It's just an interesting wrestler that was really one of the best and became the NXT champion. On the other hand, Impact's Killer Karrion Cross. Now you also have him in other promotions as well. But the way he comes in with Scarlet Bordeaux, it was like, holy shit, this guy is amazing. I really enjoy him. And you know, the fact is, if he does become NXT champion, which I'm hoping that maybe in the future, I'm not saying that he's going to win on Sunday, but it could be. It could be a fucking good show if that happens. So, I don't really know. I'm going to say that Tommaso's going to win, but I really want to see Color Cross as the champion because I really do love that wrestler. So, it's going to be a good show. You know, and again, In Your House is back. And it's a good concept because everybody's so fucking isolated. So, anyways, there it is. I'll talk to you later. Bye.